Today I'm going to demonstrate the sacroiliac joint injection as facilitated by ultrasonography. The anatomic considerations are the posterior superior iliac spine, the sacrum, and the insertion formed of the sacroiliac joint. The C60 probe is placed in the transverse orientation. After anesthetizing the skin, the needle enters out of plane into the joint, thusly performing the block. The sacroiliac joint injection is useful specifically to diagnose issues within the sacroiliac joint that might be causing hip pain to the patient. Typically on physical examination, it, there might be a positive Faber or flexion abduction external rotation test, also known as Pectrix sign, or a positive Gaines-Lenz maneuver. This can also occur when the patient has a pelvic tilt or a leg length discrepancy. The injection is useful both diagnostically and therapeutically. Traditionally, uh, fluoroscopy is utilized to place the needle within the sacroiliac joint space. The sacroiliac joint is a very complicated joint in that it is a fibrous insertion superiorly and a traditional articulating joint in the lower portion of it. On fluoroscopy, issues arise such as parallax, and it is well documented that sometimes the injection is not placed within the joint, but rather periarticularly, and therefore not providing the coverage or the response that is expected. To perform this particular block, the following equipment is necessary. Chlorhexidine for sterile technique. Local anesthetic syringe containing 1% buffered lidocaine. And then a syringe containing 5 cc's of bupivacaine, 1.5% mixed with 5 cc's of 1% lidocaine and then 40 to 80 milligrams of triamcinolone Kenalog, which is a, a particulate steroid. A three and a half inch 25 gauge spinal needle will also be utilized for the procedure. There will be sterile 4 by 4s necessary to clean the area at the conclusion and a simple band-aid will suffice to cover the wound. The patient is placed in the traditional prone position. There is a bolster within and under the abdomen to facilitate opening of the sacroiliac joints and then I utilize the C60 probe with its curvilinear uh, structure to better visualize the interface between the sacrum and the iliac crest. The depth is usually set to seven to nine centimeters depending on the patient's habitus. Additionally, I utilize the musculoskeletal or the MSK setting because it provides enhancement of the bony structures and the enhancement of the joint space. The probe is placed on the patient in the transverse orientation approximately a centimeter or two above the beginnings of the gluteal folds. And I have found the anatomic midline by identifying the spinous process of the sacral plate. As I roll the probe laterally, the posterior superior iliac spine comes into view very clearly at the top of the screen up here. The space between the posterior superior iliac spine and the shadow cast by the iliac crest and the sacrum as it dives down represents the sacroiliac joint and you can see that in the center of the screen. It's important to remember that the iliac crest and the ilium folds and cantilevers towards the sacrum. Therefore the needle angle needs to track from medial to lateral into the space identified in the center of the screen. Local anesthetic is placed and as a finder needle this injectate using hydrodissection demonstrates the needle tip at all times. The needle is going in the short axis therefore it won't be completely visualized on the screen. However hydrodissection can help notice where the tip is at all times. Then I'll utilize the three and a half inch spinal needle, 25 gauge, and enter that track that I have placed local anesthetic within. The needle tip will then be placed within that joint identified in the center of the screen right here. At this point, I attach my syringe containing the local anesthetic steroid uh, and saline mix. And then I can utilize color flow Doppler 
to actually visualize perturbations of the liquid as it enters the joint. The view is in the short axis, therefore the needle is not visible. The iliac crest is visible as the large hyperechoic structure on the right of the screen. The lateral crest of the sacrum is visible below. The target is the void between the lateral crest of the sacrum and the iliac crest. This helps solidify understanding of the three-dimensional structure of the sacroiliac joint. At this point, the probe is removed. I utilize the 4x4s to clean the area. And a band-aid is placed over the wound. This successfully completes the ultrasonographic facilitation of a sacroiliac joint injection.